Steve, I have a new member of the Gradical family. Yeah, I know. The Gradical I. I mean, the first big difference is that it doesn't have a battery on it, which saves a lot of size. So that's now the other great advantage of this is that it's a lot smaller. Won't interfere with map boxes and things like that. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot smaller. It's about half as small as this one. But and you need to power it separately. That's so. That's the first big difference, which yeah. is not always an issue for people because they have additional power in the back of the yeah. camera. Yeah. How is this powered then? Well, we have a two-pin limo on the bottom, but it's not just any ordinary two-pin limo. Different camera companies and other accessory makers have switched the polarity. So there's a danger if you mix those cables up that you could fry that device. Not this one. This can take either polarity. It senses what it is and it flips it so you can never fry it. Another major feature is this has an SDI in. It has no outs and has no HDMI in. This has SDI and HDMI in and out. Right. So if you're going to be using recorders and things, you need to go there first and then terminate here. We have this neat little converter that's very inexpensive that you can use along with this. Since you need power anyways, you got to power the converter and power your gradical. The converter can take in HDMI from a mirrorless or like a C100 or something mm -hmm. and give you SDIs. So the other thing to know, though, is that all the features that are in the HD are in here, software-wise. Yeah. But there's a couple other additional features that uh, we added. This right down here is a proximity sensor. What this does is that as soon as you take your eye away, it shuts off the screen so that you won't get the yeah. burn in. And it's a power saver, too. This joystick here actually serves two functions. Obviously, you can navigate the menu and, and get into uh, your features with this, but it also acts as a tally light. Now you can shut that off, you don't need to have that on, but some people have expressed interest to have a tally light that shows to the, no, to the talent. Cool. Oh, here's another neat thing that we did. In this configuration where the jacks go up, because you may want to kind of hover those cables all around the top of your rig, I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. I know you sort of like this downward move, so you got a rosette on both sides so that you can use it in either way. Has a USB for firmware updates. The one thing that I always want to stress, and I'm just going to pat ourselves on the back on this one, is our anti-fog. We have a video that's on our website, and you can see where we stuck this in the freezer for hours, and it did not fog. Right. There's a guy that shoots a lot of stuff down in Antarctica, and uh, he raves about how it never fogs up. He's had other issues with other EVFs, even the ones in the camera, but ours stays clear for him. So here it is, the Gradical Eye, and it's available now.